You resign as party chair, Mr. Zahawi. Your tax affairs is a distraction for the party, Mr. Zahawi. Integrity and accountability is really important to me, and clearly in this case there are questions that need answering, and that's why I've asked our independent advisor to get to the bottom of everything, to investigate the matter fully, and establish all the facts and provide advice to me on Nadim Zahawi's compliance with the Ministerial Code. I'm pleased that Nadim Zahawi has agreed with that approach and has agreed to fully cooperate with that investigation. I think it's obvious um, that Zahawi can't stay as Tory party chair. The very idea um, that he can be discussing and negotiating his own tax affairs with the body that he's supposed to be running, uh, everybody knows it's wrong. He clearly isn't going to resign, and so the Prime Minister needs to show some leadership. This is a test of the Prime Minister. He promised us his first words, integrity and accountability. Well, if those words mean anything, the Prime Minister should sack him and sack him today and show some leadership. So what is the Prime Minister doing about it? Last week, he told the House all questions had been answered, and he, and he was told that there was no outstanding issues. Yet now... The independent advisor is investigating. Ah. Even now, number 10 says the party chair retains the Prime Minister's full confidence. How can the Prime Minister claim to deliver the integrity, professionalism and accountability that he promised while his Conservative Party chair still sits in his yeah. cabinet? That is a matter for the independent advisor to look at. And his findings, the summary of his findings, will be published in due course. Integrity, accountability are critical, as is professionalism. And this government will wait and hear the facts before taking decisions based upon those facts. And I think the Right Honourable Lady would do well to do the same.